have you heard that people are actually moving out of these high cost of living states because of the rony rona macaroni situation and also specifically for California, people are moving out due to the following factors. The work from home situations, the homelessness issue, the higher crime rate, and the high cost of living. Just in Los Angeles, since the pandemic, the city has seen a 16% raise in homelessness. And there is another 30,000 households in LA who could end up homeless because of the pandemic. It almost seems that a lot of people are considering moving out of California, moving out of LA, but I actually chose to stay. So in this video, I will share with you why I decided to stay in LA, why I decided to stay in California. First reason is the network and the connection. As you know, I have graduated from USC School of Accounting and the Trojan Network is rather strong, especially in LA. And that is definitely something that I keep close to my heart, even though I don't phone up my classmates or my mentors every single day. I do like to keep that connection close to me and I do find that it is very convenient for me to stay in LA and keep in touch with a lot of my mentors and old classmates. And the second reason is my home. So I have purchased this home that I'm living in last year and it's still a relatively new thing to me and I'm really not ready to say goodbye to it. This is actually a very emotional purchase because it is not like financially like that that well it doesn't cash flow that well but i just really love the high ceiling you can watch the house tour video right here i just love a lot of things about this home that i'm living in and because it's still a very new purchase i bought this home last year i'm still not ready to leave it since this is not a mobile home i can't really just move it wherever i go so this is also another big reason why i decided to stay in la and the third reason is slightly counterintuitive and that is really the motivation to to create more income and more income streams. A lot of people chose to leave LA and leave California because of the high cost of living. And I have to admit that the cost of living in LA is really, really steep, especially for people who make modest income with just one income stream. And before I've created 16 streams of income, I was also kind of struggling with my one income stream I was making $59,000 a year before tax in LA and I just couldn't really save that much after tax and all the living expenses. That's why it actually made me more motivated to create additional income streams beyond my nine to five job so I'm able to sustain a relatively comfortable lifestyle and also be able to save up for a down payment for this house that I currently live in. This is almost like how some people tend to buy clothes in the smaller size. So it's like extra motivation for them to go on diets and lose weight and exercise so that they can fit in their favorite clothes. Similarly, I live in this high cost of living city, so I have more motivation to hustle harder, make more income and build more income streams. The fourth reason is weather. LA has really good weather, I have to admit that, and I actually grew up in Vancouver where they rain a lot and it even has a nickname of Raincouver because it rains so much. And just growing up in that environment made me really appreciate sunshine and sunny days and I just really like that about LA and it's almost like you don't necessarily have to buy an umbrella because it only rains a handful of times in LA and in California in general. And I just really like that because I do get sad when it rains too much when it's so gloomy outside but with LA it's almost always sunny and it just makes me really happy it puts a smile to my face just seeing how LA is so sunny and I can you know almost go out without the rony rona macaroni situation I can almost go out every single day because the weather is so nice and just looking at the blue sky looking at the sunsets it's just really nice weather and it just lifts my spirit up and the fifth reason is definitely the entertainment industry. So yes, the entertainment industry got hit a lot because of the current pandemic situation, but there are also still a lot of influencers and YouTubers who are here and there are a lot of conferences in the future that will be hosted in LA because this is the hub for a lot of entrepreneurs and influencers and YouTubers and entertainers. So this is really a great place to be if you want to be in the center of it all. And I also know a lot of, you know, 
YouTubers and influencers from other countries, they fly to LA to meet up because there are so many influencers here in LA. It's such a hub for influencers and content creators. And so as a content creator myself, as a YouTuber myself, I do want to stay in this hub and have easy access to all these events and conferences and meetups. I don't go to them enough before the pandemic, but I promise after things open back up, I will definitely take more advantage of all these opportunities. And last but not least, it is the good food. So LA really has a lot of good food and there are also a lot of different like towns and spots within LA that have very delicious and unique cuisines from different parts of the world. For example, we have Little Tokyo that has a lot of Japanese food. For example, we also have San Gabriel Valley which has a lot of good Chinese food. And we also have Koreatown which has really good Korean food. And we almost have every single type of cuisine that I can think of. Of course, there are also a lot of parts in LA that I haven't really explored and I really plan to explore more after things open back up. And I am a huge foodie as you can see from my IG, cherrytongue.co. I I do like to eat a lot and before everything closed down, I do like to go to different restaurants and try different cuisines and try different food and even try to, you know, make it at home on my own even though it's not always successful. So this is also another important element that I look at when considering where I should stay. So yes, as a conclusion, I understand that LA definitely is a very high cost of living place and you definitely have to be somewhat privileged to be able to live comfortably here. And I also understand that homelessness is a huge problem in LA and that is definitely something that further indicates the gap between the rich and the underprivileged. And I personally believe that by putting myself in a better position, I can contribute more to society and bring more value to society instead of me, you know, just focusing on saving and not really generating value in the society. So that's why I've decided to stay in LA because it does put me in a better state of mind. It does give me easier access to all the resources and network and just better weather and better environment and of course living in my home that also gives me extra peace of mind and these are the different reasons of why I have chose to stay in LA and of course this is not the choice that fits for everyone I know a lot of people who have actually decided to move out of LA because of the high cost of living because they want to be closer to their family and that is completely okay this is a very very personal choice and I just wanted to create this video to shine light of the opposite side of the spectrum, why someone like me, who's not from LA, would want to stay in LA. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what are your thoughts, and I will see you in my next wealth building video.